This talk walks through the basic steps for integrating Collabor Online's editing capabilities into your existing web app. On the web app, you need to add an iframe where the editing UI and the document itself will be loaded. In fact, Collabor Online is a WAPI client that can be integrated with a WAPI host, that is your web app. To set up the iframe, your application needs to read a discovery XML document from a defined location on the Collabor Online WAPI client. The discovery service is available at the address displayed in this slide. The response is an XML document that contains a URLSRC property for various file formats. This property specifies the address that you need to use for initiating the iframe that you create for the document editing. To be able to access files securely, your application has to pass an authentication token to Collabor Online. From the Collabor Online point of view, it can be any random number or string that will be passed as part of the URL when accessing the document storage. The token should be generated according to the request of the file and the user who is logged in. Your existing solution has to implement a few WAPI endpoints so that Collabor Online can download files that the user wants to edit and upload back the updates. As a bare minimum, your application has to support the following four WAP endpoints. The get file endpoint that sends back the content of the file when the shown URL is invoked using a get verb. The put file endpoint that replaces the file with the body of the post verb when invoked with the shown URL. The put relative file and the point that creates a new file with the body of the post verb for the needs of the save as operation. The check file info and the point that returns at least the base file name and size of the file as JSON data. Finally, you also need to implement a function that generates a unique token for a given file and user. In our SDK documentation site, you can find several examples for integrating Collabor Online with your application. These examples have been implemented by using the most widespread technologies such as PHP, Node.js, TypeScript, React.js, and the Python Django framework. Even more examples will come in the future. So let's start a walk through one of these integration examples. The front end of this sample application is just a simple HTML document which embeds some components. There is a form where you have to enter the address of the dedicated server or virtual machine where you have deployed the Collabor Online WAPI client. There is an iframe where the editing UI and the simple test document are going to be loaded. Moreover, there is a hidden form Use it for performing a post request to the WAPI client in order to initiate the iframe. The hidden form looks like the one displayed in this slide. The action attribute has to be set to the URL of the Collabor Online server for editing simple text document. A query parameter named WAPI SRC needs to be appended to such a URL and needs to point to the check file info and the point. In this case, the file ID parameter to be passed to the check file info and the point is just a simple one. In fact, in this simple example, we are using a fake ID. Anyway, in a real application, you should be using the file ID valid for your web app storage. The target boot points 
to the embedded iframe so that uh, submitting the form leads to loading the editing UI and the requested document into the iframe. Finally, the value attribute for the access token input element has to be initialized to the authentication token associated to the requested file. When the form with the Collabora Online server address is submitted, some JavaScript code embedded in index.html is responsible for making a request to an internal endpoint to which the entered server address is passed as a query parameter. The response is used for setting up the hidden form with the appropriate data and then initiating the form submission which performs a post request to the Collabora Online server for getting the editing UI and the requested document loaded into the iframe. The backend of this example application exploits Esper's Node.js library for routing requests to the required WAPI endpoints. There is also an internal endpoint named Collabra URL whose implementation takes care to retrieve and parsing the discovery XML document through the HTTPS and XPath Node.js library. The URL associated to Collabra Online for editing files with MimeType text plane is returned as a response. It is also part of the response a fake token, which in a real case should be generated based on the ID of the requested file and the user logged in. Now let's see the WAPI endpoints implemented by our simple application. As we are going to see all the implemented endpoints have the document ID passed as part of the endpoint path. The check file info endpoint returns information about the file with the given document ID. The response has to be in JSON format and at the minimum it needs to include the file name and the file size. In the display the code test.txt is just the name of a fake test file to be edited with Collabora Online. The size property is the length of the string returned by the WAPI get file endpoint as file content. In fact, given a request access token and a document ID, the get file endpoint sends back the content of the file. In our example, the implementation is very simple. We just return hello world as the content of a fake test file to be edited. In a real case, you should use the file ID for retrieving it from the web app storage and send back the file content as a response. Finally, our sample application implements the put file endpoint, which replaces the file content with the post request body. In our implementation, we just log to the console the new file content so that it is possible to check that saving the document Collabora Online has triggered this WAPI endpoint and sent back the correct content. In a, real case, in a real case, you should replace the file in the web app storage with the new file content. Thanks to the just illustrated setup, when you click on the Load Collabora Online button, you get the expected result as shown in this screenshot. Thanks for watching this presentation and for any question you can use the contact information displayed in this slide.